was a day to remember. On the eve of the AFL Sir Doug Nichols round, Indigenous stars, both past and present, converged on Arden Street to celebrate North Melbourne's commitment to reconciliation. The Roos have developed their very own Reconciliation Action Plan, or RAP, to create greater awareness about our history and build the capacity of our people to create the most inclusive and welcoming environment for all. At North Melbourne, our defining culture, the Shimbona spirit, has at its very heart the sense of belonging. And this is one of our core values, and it's an absolutely critical concept when we think about reconciliation. Uh, we want to ensure that all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders feel like they belong at North Melbourne Football Club. Jed Anderson, Lindsay Thomas and Daniel Wells were joined by some legendary North Melbourne icons, in former player and coach Barry Cable, the talented Cracker Brothers, Jimmy and Phil, as well as 1999 Premiership star, Byron Pickett. Well, I just think that it's a wonderful day, a uh, wonderful day for the club, wonderful day for reconciliation, uh, great for the boys uh, that have played for the club, that are playing today, that played yesterday, uh, and I just think that generally it's, it's a terrific thing, that uh, the reconciliation. It's a um, great day, you know, to be a um, footy club getting behind the this, this cause, and yeah, it's been a great day. Lindsay Thomas, who was heavily involved in the development of North Melbourne's first ever rap, said he couldn't be prouder of his club. It's, a, it's been a long time coming. Um, I mean, the last couple of years we've um, really made a focus of it at this footy club in particular, but in the AFL. But to have the launch here today, have our own uh, rap, um, to have the past players, it's um, definitely a proud moment in my career to be involved in it. I just feel like I, I have to give back and... I'm a very proud Aboriginal person and very proud to be at this footy club with such a rich rich history. So, uh, yeah, definitely a proud uh, day and uh, I'll definitely cherish it for the rest of my career, that's for sure. Pay a visit to Arden Street this week and you'll see large Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander flags painted on to the club's oval. A prominent reminder about the importance of reconciliation for both staff and players alike. I'm very proud of my, my heritage and where I come from and um, to do the work in the huddle that I've been doing over the last couple of years... Um, it's very important to me and hopefully when I'm finished here my legacy will, will be at this footy club forever. And the past heroes are in no doubt that that legacy is certainly being left. They all agree Anderson, Thomas and Wells continue to provide inspiration to many. They set a marvellous example and uh, they're doing a great job both on and off the field and um, you know, that's, that goes good for the club but it also goes good for a lot of people outside, uh, Indigenous people but as well as uh, non-Indigenous to appreciate and understand that uh, it is a different culture but at the same time um, they're, they're people like everybody else and so therefore they should be respected in that manner. They're um, all going good players and you know, they're good top players and all doing well so very good. Paul Ridden for nmfc.com.au